Hey everybody, this is Cliff, and it was an incredible day today at the Unreal Engine, at the Epic Games Unreal Engine Sessions Day, where they went over all the innovations in gaming and virtual production, 3D development. It was really incredible. So in honor of that, I want to show everybody how to set up the virtual camera on Unreal Engine with a iPad Pro here. Now, Unreal Engine just came out with the most incredible facial mocap app on the Apple App Store. It's Live Link Face, and it's a real-time facial mocap app which allows you to connect real-time facial mocap models right to Unreal Engine. But I also really love the virtual camera because it turns an iPad or an iPhone into the virtual camera, virtual cinema camera. So we have Unreal Engine 4.25.1, 425, and I'm going to show you exactly how to set up really quick the virtual camera for virtual production in Unreal Engine. So the first thing we do is we come to the Learn tab here, and then we come down to Virtual Camera right here. We click on that, and then this is the VCam, the virtual camera. This is the project, so it's best to just start with the project. So what you do is you click Create Project, and then we're going to switch over here to the D drive, and I'm going to go to uh, 4.25. We have many versions of Unreal Engine. And I already have um, a virtual camera here, but we're going to do another one. So we're going to call this Virtual Camera 1, VCam 1. And then we hit Create here. So now what this is doing is just creating the project on my D drive, and it's uh, downloading and saving the project. Next, we're going to open the project. We're going to add in some plugins for the virtual camera, and then I'm going to show you how to connect the virtual camera to the iPad Pro. You have to have an iPhone or an iPad with a depth sensor camera, but it doesn't necessarily have to be the newest one. So this is a uh, December iPad Pro 12.9 without the uh, LiDAR, but it has a depth sensor. And it works on an iPhone. I have an iPhone 11 Pro Max, but the screen's real small, and so you need uh, for the joysticks and to do different controls, it's better to have an iPad. There is a real cool thing where you can connect uh, joysticks, real joysticks, to the iPhone or the iPad, and then that would allow you to use the virtual joysticks that you use with the interface, but to use them on the side as real joysticks. But just having the joysticks, having the virtual camera is incredible because you would have to keyframe all this uh, in a cinematic in the sequencer, and it's just a uh, saves you so much time and it allows you to get these uh, shots you could not get without having a real camera. Now the only other professional way to do this is uh, people connect vibe sensors to the camera, to different objects, and they use like a vibe sensor and some people are coming out with new sensors that are less expensive. But in order to do that you need an entire vibe system which is like five to seven hundred dollars or can go up to fifteen hundred dollars and then you need the uh, vibe sensor which is all puck and you'll put that on top of the camera and then that would turn like a a real camera into a virtual cinema camera and then that helps where you would do the virtual production where you could have a camera and a green screen or a virtual uh, LED wall basically behind you an LED wall and you could do the green screen you know in a studio but with this this allows you to turn the iPad Pro into the incredible virtual camera so we're gonna open up the project next saving the project okay so we have the new project here so we click in the new project it says virtual camera one so now we're opening up Unreal Engine for the PC. You have to have a PC, but it works with Apple AR Kit. Uh, there is a paid app in the uh, Epic Games Unreal Engine store that allow you to do this kind of virtual camera with an Android and Epic Games that so they were working on a uh, Unreal Engine app for an uh, Android virtual camera, but they don't have that out yet. So this all works with Apple AR Kit, and that's why you need to have an iPad to be the virtual camera. Okay, so now the virtual camera is opening. Okay, guys, the project is open, and it's beautiful here. Look at this project. Got this guy, got this monster. Have an incredible scene right here. So the virtual camera plugin enables a user to drive a cine camera in UE4 using an iPad Pro in a virtual production environment. With AR kit or an optical motion capture system such as Vicon or OptiTrack, the position and rotation of the iPad is broadcast wirelessly to the PC, and the PC is sending video back to the iPad. Camera settings such as focal length, aperture, focus distance, and stabilization can be adjusted using touch input. Additionally, the virtual camera can be used for taking high-resolution screenshots, setting waypoints, recording camera motion, and other tasks related to virtual production. So now I'm going to show you how to set up the virtual camera right here in Unreal Engine 4.25. So the first thing we need to do is make sure we've got the plugins. So we go to Edit and Plugins. And then here we come down, scroll down to Virtual Production, and then we make sure we have Virtual Camera enabled. For us here, it's already enabled. Now here you can click back to built-in, and then you can type in Apple. We want to make sure that we have Apple AR Kit right here enabled, 
and it wasn't enabled, so we have to enable it. So you click the checkbox. When you do that, it's going to say that Unreal Editor needs to be restarted, so we can do a restart now. But there's one more plugin, and that right here, Remote Session. Remote Session, and that's the uh, thin client. So that's all we need. So right now we got to hit restart because it didn't have Apple AR Kit connected in the plugin. Now we need to know what the IP address is of the Wi-Fi. So we go in here and we get the command line, the command prompt. We type in IP config. So then we see what the IP4 address is. The IP4, that's the address. So that's the Wi-Fi. So we're going to have both the PC and the uh, and the virtual camera app on the iPad connected to this IPv address, the IPv4. So we're going to come over here, and there's the live link face we just got. There it is. It's U Remote, right there. And now that's the uh, right IP address. Now it's good here to go into Project Settings, and then you go down here to Input, and you see right there under Mobile, Always Show Touch Interface. So that's going to have you have the virtual joysticks, and then we can close that. Another good thing you want to do is you want to come up to Edit, Editor Preferences. Then go to level editor play and now you see for game viewport settings we have common resolutions here and we have a drop down so one of these is tablets so right here i have the ipad pro 12.9 inch third gen so i'm having the viewport setting to be connected where the ipad pro 12.9 is the correct screen size now if the playback seems too slow they say you can adjust the resolution of the window here, but you want to keep the aspect ratio the same. So they're saying 1280 by 960 works good also. So you may want to switch that down here in the viewpoint resolution. In the viewport resolution, you could switch that down from this 2000 width uh, resolution down to say 1280 by 960 if you're having any kind of uh, lag and it's a little slow when you're watching and manipulating the scene on the iPad. Now that's pretty much it. All you have to do now is come to the play and the launch here and the play, and then you just hit new editor window PIE and you click that. Now you see right there, it's opened it up. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit connect here, boom, and we're done. So then you'd hit that right there and you have the joysticks and the joysticks will let you move all around and manipulate the camera. So look how beautiful this is. So you can move all around, do all the positioning of the cine camera, the virtual camera, by moving the iPad around, and then also by using the joysticks, and then you have waypoints. So you can choose a point, then you can go back to it, and all that. Then we have here where you can click, and you have performances, and then here is, and then this is the button to start recording. And as you see, it starts recording the shot. So we this shot, come up, look at the tree, it's beautiful, go around to the rock, and then stop. Oh, so that was the take right there. It's amazing. So then you have manual, and you have autofocus here. You have the focus, the whole range, focal length, and then here with the eye, with the eye, here with the eye, we're hiding all the features, and that's it. So that was the quick run through of how to set up on Unreal Engine 4.25 the virtual camera, the virtual cine camera uh, with the iPad Pro 12.9 inch. And it's really amazing. So you have this camera and you can just use this as, see, now moving the camera around with the iPad and it's showing all around. Wow, and with this update, it's very smooth, real nice. So you can just do the most incredible shots, and it's just amazing. And that's it. So this is Cliff Baltridge. Please make sure to like, subscribe, share, send friends, leave a nice comment, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.